ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bert Bacharach. Seems that everyone this year wrote songs about places. There was Harper Valley, Wichita, Galveston, Houston, Phoenix. Next year, it's probably going to be something else. They've already started with hair. I'm afraid we're going to hear songs like nose, chin. There may be even a new hit called Left Elbow. And when people ask how far they're really going to go, all my musician friends will probably answer, just take it from the top, Dave. As a composer, I realize the importance of performance. We write the words and the notes, but the artist gives them life. I've been very fortunate to have a number of my compositions brought to life by our next Grammy Award winner. Now, when she's going to record one of your songs, it really makes you feel like you bet on a sure thing. She has a voice and a style and a warmth that gives any song a very special meaning. Here's the winner of the Best Contemporary Pop Female Vocal Award, singing one of my favorites. <laughs> Do you know the way to San Jose? Miss Dionne Warwick. Sing it over hard out, honey. I'm so pleased to be a part of the Grammy show, but before we go any further, I would like to dispel a rumor. There is no truth to these stories that are going around that I'm splitting up. California, maybe, but not Mama Cat. I, uh, no, sports fan. I, uh, I asked especially to introduce this next nomination because I wanted to talk about the four young men who are responsible for it. There's never been anything like the Beatles. I've met the Beatles, and although I don't know them very well, I know every one of their songs by heart. And they've been very instrumental in my desire to become a rock singer. It's with much pride that I introduce the Beatles, singing the nomination for the best record of the year, Hey Jude. Hey Jude. 